Hey, Ali, Tim, how you guys? How you guys doing? Uh, nice to see you again. So this is a little video, uh, Ali, that you can use to refresh your memory um, and go over everything that we've been doing in in lessons. Um, I know sometimes when you have a lesson once a week, sometimes difficult to remember exactly how things are done. So I'm, I'm going to show you now. Right, your warm ups. I want you to play the two scales we've been working on, the C major and the A minor, as your warm ups. And I don't want you to kind of Stop, stop and start again. I want it to be a flowing exercise. So C is your third fret, fifth string. D, pinky, fifth fret. E, second fret, next string. F, third fret. G, fifth fret, next string. A, B, pinky, yeah, sorry, ring finger, and then C, and then back down. I want you to get used to this pattern. It should be kind of, it should start to feel more and more comfortable. So here's what I want you to do to work on it. I want you to play them, play the scale, ascending and then descending, and then back again and down without stopping. See my picking? Down. Down. And once you get comfortable, speed it up a bit. Slow down. You get the idea. So I want it to be up and down without any stops. And down, up, down, up, picking. Um, and that's that's your C major scale. So hopefully once you learn that, you, you'll know that this is C, this is D. This is E, F, G, A, B, C. Cool. So then the A minor scale. Um, so fifth string open. A, B, second fret, C, third fret. Next string, D open. E, second fret, F, third fret. Next string, G open. Second fret, A. And the same idea, up and down. All right. Um, and like we talked about a month or so ago, take some different rhythms. Um, and play the scale on different rhythms. Right, so C scale, A minor scale. I believe we also did the E minor pentatonic scale, which we didn't cover in today's lesson. Just today is the 21st, uh, but we, I'm sure we've covered it uh, before. The E minor pen pentatonic scale. <laughs> Remember that one? Get three. So I'll start it again from the top. Um, e minor pentatonic. Open three. Next string open two. Next open two again. Next open two. Open three. Open three. And then back down. And this is the scale that loads and loads of rock songs are all based around. Anyway, so those are your scales that, that you're going to work on as exercises. C major, A minor, and the E minor pentatonic scale. Now, um, I explained in the in the lesson uh, the start of Stairway to Heaven. It's a bit, it's tricky, but I think it's a nice uh, song to learn to work on your uh, half bar shape right here. So I'll just show you again. So Stairway to Heaven, you've got first finger uh, kind of barring uh, the first three strings on the fifth fret. Yeah. Ring finger curls around seventh fret. 
really, really make sure that curl is not touching the third string, otherwise you'll get this, that buzzy sound. If you curl it enough, it'll come out. So, and then using your fingers, thumb, in, thumb index, middle, ring. All right, and then what happens, uh, I think you found it a bit tricky on the lesson, uh, but you got in the end, is the middle finger goes down to fret six, yeah? The pinky, first string, fret seven. You play those two together, thumb and ring. I got my thumb on the fourth string, and my ring, the first string. And then two, three, do it again. Obviously don't play over here. I'm just showing you so you can see in the video, a little bit cramped. Change. See that? So my, my ring went down to fret six, my pinky fret seven on the first string. All right? But just, just when you work that, that, tra that transition. And if you want to try the rest, you've got the sheet music I sent to you, Dad, email. That would, that would be great. So first bit of Stay to Heaven. Um, the chord chart that I showed you how to read in our, our, in our lesson today, um, we're looking at Star, uh, Starman, David Bowie. It was a G minor shape, F major shape, whoops, and then a C major shape, that is C7, all right? So, Ali, if you, if you memorize the, the major and minor bar chord shapes, it'll make reading chord charts a whole lot easier. So, if you, if you think of an E major chord, yeah, but just using pinky, ring, and middle. E major, yeah, see that? That's E because your low string is E. If I want to play an F chord, I'll move my E shape up one and just bar the note F. And there's my F major. To make it minor, pick, pick, pick up your middle finger. Yeah, so it's almost just like an E minor chord, moving the shape up, okay? Um, so I, I would like you to have a go at, at trying to read as many new songs as you can using uh, using chord charts. Okay, so crazy train, crazy train. Second time, third time, fourth time. Notice I only did a half of the riff. The whole riff is. But on the fourth time. So I'd like you to try to play it smoothly and in time, and try and get everything uh, in, in in time with each, with with each, with each other. The most important thing about playing music is finding finding a steady pulse. Okay. Second time. Third time. Fourth time. Half. And. And riff. Okay. Right. Um, what's that one? And then we're looking at uh, Sweet Child of Mine. D. You had this one down really, really well in the last time you played it. And then, of course, you've got the. I'll 
do it slow. Maybe you can wash my hands and see if you can maybe get to get this how to play it uh make it easier. <laughs> And I just kind of sneakily go there. Sneak it. See, I just kind of, I actually, I just rock. <laughs> I almost make my joint buckle on my on my finger, like I always tell you not to do. There is a, there is a, a, a purpose. You can kind of go from third string to fourth string without even lifting your finger. Yep. And then for the chorus, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, back to A, G, D. Cool. Uh, the last one we did was okay. The last one we did was Kings Leon, and we had a C chord. Same chord, but hitting the low E string. F major bar. G, C, C with an E. F major. A minor. Regular C. F. Same again. A minor. C. F, hold it. And then back and start out. So it's, it's, I can use somebody. Mama, na, 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 na. So really, the, the part that you're playing, the chords, that's the song. I did teach you a little bit. They, they don't actually play that on the guitar. That's the vocal melody that they were singing. Um, so if you want to just play the chords, that's the song. No, I'm making a recording. Um, and then uh, you've got the, uh, the 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 bridge. Fifth fret B. Down down up down 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 up. Then change. Second fret low E. Yeah, because that's to the part that all the harp. Five, one, two, three, four, eight, one, two, three, four, third string, fret five. It'll bend, five, third string, seven, five. So, there's a recap for you. Um, hope this is helpful. You can always pause it and go back. And if, if let's say you only want to work on one song during a practice session, look at look at this video and drop me a line. Let me know if it's helpful and let me know if you'd like me to cover anything else. Make a quick video for you about something else that we've done in the lesson that you maybe forget uh, or you'd like a little bit of help during the week. Okay. Good luck. See you. I'll see you next time. Bye.